car gets hit by lightning. In order to understand lightning, we need to understand charge. Everything you see around you is made out of protons and electrons. Protons have a positive charge, and electrons have a negative charge. When we talk about charge, we mean the overall balance of these individual charges. More electrons than protons in an object means it will have a negative charge, and vice versa. In conductive metals, the electrons have the ability to move freely. Like charges repel, and opposite charges attract. The triboelectric effect comes from the Greek word tribo, which means rubbing. Have you ever rubbed your feet on the carpet and then gotten shocked? That's because the rubbing of your feet on the ground caused you to build up charge. Then, when you got close to the doorknob, you got shocked because the charges are jumping from you to the knob. These two styrofoam balls were given the same charge by rubbing them with the same type of balloon. This causes them to repel each other. What is lightning? The ground and the clouds start off neutral, but over time, the storm clouds build up negative charge. This repels the electrons on the ground, inducing a positive charge. Eventually, the charge difference becomes so great that the electrons jump, and you see this as lightning. If those electrons hit you, you die. But what happens if you're in a car? We can make our own lightning to test this using the triboelectric effect we talked about. A Van de Graaff generator uses rubbing between internal parts to charge the large metal ball at the top. Once enough charge builds up, it jumps and hits a nearby surface, just like lightning, but smaller. Now that we've got a way to make our own lightning, we can figure out what happens when lightning hits a car. A car is a large, closed metal surface that charges can move freely through. These types of large metal surfaces are called Faraday cages. Remember the experiment with the styrofoam balls? It showed us that like charges want to be far away from each other. So when a Faraday cage is charged, the charges distribute across the whole surface. After that, the charges on either side of the cage both exert the same force on the contents of the cage, but from opposite directions. This means that they cancel, and everything inside the cage is unaffected. Without a Faraday cage, these foil streamers get pulled on like crazy by the charge in the generator. But with a Faraday cage, they barely move. So there you have it. Lightning is just a movement of charges from one place to another. And because like charges repel, if they hit a metal surface, like your car, they will spread around the outside and won't go in at all. You are completely safe. Don't keep driving, though. The strike can damage electrical systems in the car.